Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be back. Happy New Year. I haven't had a video up since the holiday time. January is now really hard for me as we celebrated the one year anniversary of my grandmother's passing. I did a video of that last January. Unfortunately, I never wanted to do a video of me um, talking about a loved one who passed, but unfortunately she passed a year ago, January 3rd. So filming and doing YouTube content had to be put on the back burner for me. It's definitely an emotional period for me. I'm still kind of getting through those emotions um, since it's only been a year. Um, and it's uh, it's been hard. It's been really, really hard, but I do have a very good support system with my family, with my husband, um, people that I know, people that reach out to me randomly. It's, it's so odd because I'll have people reach out to me on the days when I feel the lowest and they're just Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. And it's just, it really helps me get through those periods. So I really appreciate all of you guys for sticking around. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm so happy and grateful that you have landed here. And I really hope that you enjoy the content on my channel. It is going through a little bit of a rebrand. I used to be known as Udalali Disney Crafts and Fun. And I have since changed to Anyone Can DIY. And uh, I don't know if you guys need a dedicated video for that, but basically the idea was, well, first off, Ratatouille is one of my favorite, favorite Disney movies. And I, in, in general, I mean, non-Pixar and Pixar, Ratatouille is one of my favorites. It is up there with Little Mermaid for me. So I really loved Anyone Can Cook, that whole phrase from Rat Ratatouille. And I decided to change it to Anyone Can DIY, just as an homage to my favorite movie. I'm really excited for my channel to keep growing. Um, definitely been thinking about the direction that I want to go with my channel. I still want to do a lot of DIY focus, but obviously I am a Disney fan. I want to be able to incorporate a lot of Disney inspired crafts. For those of you who are also Disney fans and want to be able to recreate things, whether that's ears or just kind of home decor pieces. So trying to figure out the the ropes there in terms of the exact direction I want to go but definitely DIYs are my strong suit so I hope that's something that you guys enjoy but again thank you thank you thank you for sticking around and it just means everything to me I'm so grateful for this YouTube community it's definitely something that I've leaned on and the folks that I have met truly are treasures that I wish I could get together with in real life and just you know have a really fun time with but with that being said this video is going to be just about some items that I picked up from the Disney store outlets ever since the Disney stores went out of business I was so sad about that because I felt like a part of my childhood died along with the store closures having the Disney stores readily available at your fingertips was just always so amazing for me because for someone like me who loves Disney, who can't always get to the theme parks, it was kind of a really great way to get a quick Disney fix. And unfortunately, they're all closed now, but we still have the Disney store outlets. So, so my mom and I went to the Disney store outlets closest to us and picked up some really good stuff that was on sale because during this time period, they were having a 25% off basically anything in the store that had an orange tag. So obviously I'm looking for uh, looking out for the orange tags because it was an additional 25% off of that. So I think I scored pretty good. So I wasn't really going there to look for anything specific, but anything that really caught my eye or stuff that I was kind of looking at on shopdisney.com but never pulled the trigger. I don't know if you guys do that where you're on shopdisney.com kind of going through the sales section and you just fill your cart with stuff and it just you never check out. <laughs> it just sits in your cart. Well, that's what was happening. I did go ahead and find a couple things that was actually in my cart that I found in store. So I'm going to go ahead and share that right now. And I guess we'll just start off with the shirt I'm wearing. Um, so I love the movie Encanto. This is an Encanto shirt. So here is um, Pico, the toucan. It says Encanto in really beautiful colors. So the shirt itself is this beautiful heathered gray. I love gray. It's one of my favorite colors along with orange, but it just says uh, on repeat here, family is everything, la familia lo es todo, which I love because to me, my family is everything. I adore my family and uh, we are very, we're a smaller family now, but um, I love them to pieces. They are my heart and soul. So uh, I love this shirt. I got this in a small, fits me really nicely. I think this is one of the shirts that was on sale 
and I think I got this for just under $8 or so. It was a really good deal because typically Disney shirts are around $36, $34, $36, which is crazy because sometimes the quality of Disney shirts just isn't there for the price. And for shirts like this, this is a very nice soft shirt. I love the colors of it. Eight bucks, just about eight bucks or so. So I am, that was a big win. And then keeping along with the Encanto theme, I love plushed animals and stuffed toys. I, yes, I'm, I am an adult, but I do really enjoy a good plush toy. It just makes me happy, especially in those moments when you just are feeling sad or you just need something to kind of comfort you, you know, with anxiety or depression or whatever you're going through. I just really love my plush toys. So this is also from Encanto. Um, this is Chis Chispy, Chispy. I didn't even know these things had names until I looked them up. So he has a name, you know, Mr. Toucan here has a name, Pico. And then um, I think this is a, what is it called? It's, um, I don't even know what this, what animal this is. I'll have to look it up and put it somewhere on the screen here, what kind of animal this is. But I think it is a um, South American animal. He's so funny with his expression here, but his name is Chispy, 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 something like that. But he's, he's hilarious. I love his kind of side eye there. But anyway, so I got that. Now this item I was so excited for. If you don't know who Color Me Courtney is, she is an influencer, if you will, a Disney influencer. She, her whole account is super colorful. She does a lot of Disney bounds. Um, she's just, I love her energy. She's just an amazing account. So if you want someone to follow on Instagram who loves color, loves Disney, follow Courtney on Instagram. I'll put her handle somewhere here, but she's awesome. She came out with a Disney princess color me Courtney line. And this was all specific to Tiana, who is Ariel is my number one princess, but Tiana is my second. I love, love Tiana. Ever since The Princess and the Frog came out, Tiana stole my heart and ran with it. But anyways, Color Me Courtney, she came out with this line that was all Tiana inspired. This bag was also in the sale. So this was marked down to $19.98. And then with the 25% off, I think it came out to $14 or so, which is great. The colors of the bag. So we have Tiana's beautiful green color. Then we have this beautiful coral, a bl very light blue zipper, and then this really beautiful kind of sunshine yellow. I love the bright colors. I really enjoy bright colors. They're my jam. The zippered pole is the frog prints, if you can see that. And also it's the same on these poles as well. So we have the zipper top here. And this is um, kind of like a wired opening here. Pretty roomy inside. So I'm thinking I might take this along because my husband and I were going away on our honeymoon. So I won't be able to upload another video until we get back. Stay tuned for that because it's a video that's dedicated to my craft room. I did yet another makeover. It's been it's been a work in progress for months now. Um, it's been busy. So that is going to be a video that is coming. So definitely stay tuned for that. But in terms of our honeymoon, we're now taking this trip a year later, but I'm thinking I might just put my makeup items in here. And then in terms of makeup brushes, you can actually, there's a space down here that opens and you can store whatever you want, but I think I might just use it for makeup brushes. But this is a really awesome little cute travel pouch. I love that it says Tiana, and then at the bottom it's embroidered and it says dreams made real. So I love that. Then also, if you can see, we're uh, right after Tiana, there's an embroidered Tiana there of her holding the frog. So uh, just really cute, I love it. I'm so happy because I, I was I was looking for this, but it wasn't available on shopdisney.com. So I wasn't expecting to see this in store. My Disney store outlet did have some more pieces from her, like the the layered tool skirt, which was really pretty. Um, they had the headbands and I think maybe a couple other items, but this is the one that I really wanted from her line. So very happy that I now own it. So really happy with this purchase. These two items kind of go together. These were also on sale. Um, this was, I couldn't believe this. So these are obviously mini ears 
and this was originally $35 marked down to $14.98 plus the 25% off. So I got these ears for a really good deal. So it's a Walt Disney World 50th and it, it's all Tiki Room inspired. So you have kind of like bamboo around the edges here, the Tiki Room Tiki Hawaiian print with the cute little parrot here, some beautiful feathers, the sweet hat like your vacation hat and the back is just this really beautiful brown satin with the Walt Disney World 50th embroidered on the back so I love that that's beautiful and this was also flying off the shelves there were only a few left and then the other popular item was this adorable Mickey vacation tiki room Mickey um I got one of the last ones in store he was I saw him in one bin and I put him back and then when I went back, it, he was just, he was gone. Someone took him. And so I was on, I was on a desperate hunt with my mom throughout the store. I'm like, he's got to be in another bin. And luckily I found him and there were a couple left and he's just perfect. He's all green. So it's this beautiful forest green. It has the Walt Disney World 50th. He has his tiki hole attire, his shirt. He is ready for vacation. His kind of burlap shoes, burlap hat. I adore him. So He's a really good pairing with my whole Tiki Room Hawaii vibe here. So love that. To add to my plush collection, I got this adorable Tigger. He is one of my favorite Winnie the Pooh characters. I feel like I relate more to Tigger because I'm a little bit crazy. I can be. And uh, he was he's adorable. He was $14.99. And I just adore his tail. Look how cute he is. And the color, he's just the perfect size too. And the coloring is absolute perfection for Tigger. Um, sometimes you can find him a little bit lighter in hue um, or a little bit darker, but this is, it's its coming off really bright and orange, but it's, it's almost like a cactus cooler orange, um, but it's so beautiful. I adore Tigger and he's the perfect size to just kind of snuggle with. And then in terms of the smaller items that I got, so um, I got this for 98 cents and this was not even including the 25% off. So 98 cents. I told you Little Mermaid is my favorite movie. And here is a Dingle Hopper fork. How cute is that? My car is named Dingle Hopper for the Little Mermaid and it's just absolute perfection. So this is going to go on my key ring with all of my other keys, but I got this for 98 cents plus 25% off. That's crazy. Um, so I couldn't put this back. I love this little guy. And this particular item, it's a Disney Stony Clover collab patch that I found at the Disney store. I didn't expect to find this because online it's priced at like 18, $19. But this one I got for about $3. It was originally $9.98, but I think it was on further discount when it came up to the register, but it's little Gus Gus from Cinderella, and he is a patch that I actually, when Target was doing their collaboration with Stony Clover, they came out with fanny packs, and I love me a fanny pack. I love lounge fly, and I love fanny packs. When Target came out with the Stony Clover collaboration, I managed to pick up some really cute fanny packs in like a blue and green and pink color so i was thinking for the blue one that i could put little gus gus on there and have it be a really good addition to that bag or i might just use maybe this for my paper crafts i'm not sure but um, either way i love gus gus from cinderella so i thought this was a really good deal that i couldn't pass up and then the last three items are pins that i am so excited about so um these were all the, all of these had the orange tags on them, but this is the Disney Ultimate Princess Collection. I got this in Merida and I got her, she was marked at $6.98. I honestly don't know how much the original price is for this particular pin collection. Um, it's part of their Disney designer collection. So I don't know what the original price is, but this was marked at $6.98 plus at 25% off. So... They had all the different princesses like Belle and um, Tiana and Snow White. And I don't know if I saw Ariel or not, but I saw Merida. They didn't have a lot of Meridas. 
And me personally, I thought that her whole designer attire was my favorite with all the Scottish plaid and all of that. So, so this is what the pen looks like. And then when you open it, it just opens like this and then you can see her full attire there, which is so pretty. I'm hoping that'll, isn't that beautiful with just her boots that she's wearing and then she has this beautiful plaid with her beautiful red hair. I love it. So I'll do a close up of this. You can actually see all the details up close there um, in case there was a little bit of a glare and you can't see that, but it's a magnetic closure like that. So this is going to be added into my pin collection. It does give you a little background on the designer who designed her attire, which is Wes Jenkins, who began working at Disney in 2017 as a technical designer for the Disney Parks Costuming Organization. So um, pretty cool. So it gives you a little bit of backstory on the designer who created the clothes for the um, Princess Designer line. So love that. The next one that I got was also marked $5.98 plus 25% off. And honestly, this one I have never heard of. Fun and Fancy Free is the pen. Let me just go ahead and take it out. So this is what the pen looks like, and it's apparently celebrating the 75th anniversary. I This is from 1940s, 1946, somewhere around there. I've never heard of it, and I definitely want to watch it because it's obviously around the time that Walt Disney was alive. But um, I'm, she looks like a harp, and then we have Donald and Mickey almost like a Jack and the Beanstalk kind of a, kind of a vibe there. But I haven't seen this film before, so I'm hoping to catch that on Disney Plus. I'm gonna watch the film because I've never seen it before. I don't know if it's a film or a short, but either way, I'm gonna see it. I saved the best for last. I found this thrown about in one of those turn wheel kind of displays. And it is the mystery pin collection of Hocus Pocus. Now this I think was around anywhere from 17 to $20 for just the box that has two pins in it. And this was marked at $5.98 plus the 25% off. And it was the only one that they had. And I, my mom was like, you need to get this <laughs> because I love Hocus Pocus. It's one of my favorite movies during the Halloween season. Absolute, absolute favorite. So uh, this comes with, let's see, there's two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten different pins. You only get two. So it's a mystery what you're going to get. If I get at least two of the Sanderson sisters, that will make me really happy. So I thought we could just do kind of a surprise unboxing here. Why not, right? I don't think I have done an unboxing in a really long time. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm like destroying this box. I'm intentionally destroying it. Okay, here we go. So we have we have the two pins here. So let's see. I wonder if this is perforated or not. Uh, it doesn't look like it's perforated. Do I have scissors? I think I have scissors. Okay. So here we go with the first one. All right. Okay, so we're gonna dive in. Okay. All right, so we got the transformation spell. This is a spell that Winifred reads out when she is casting a spell on Zachary, turning him into a black cat. So this is what it looks like. And again, I'll make sure to do kind of a close up on these pins so you can actually see the detail. It's really pretty. It's a very nice size too. Very nice size pin. So. There's that one. Now, last one. Okay, let's see what we got. Hopefully we get one of the Sanderson sisters. I really want one, one of Fred. She's my favorite, but we'll see. Okay. Oh, we got Sarah. So it says, boys will love me. <gasps> boys will love me. So that's what that looks like. And again, I will put a close up of this. So these are the two Hocus Pocus pins I got. They're really cool. I like them. Not bad. And for $5.98 plus 25% off, really good. All right, guys. So 
that is it for today's haul. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Do look forward to more video content coming. I have a couple DIYs coming. And then of course my craft room makeover that is coming. Um, I just won't be able to post that until I come back from our honeymoon. We're going to be going to Ireland and Scotland. So I am very excited for that. Um, I haven't been to Ireland in a moment. And uh, the last time I went, it was just for a day. So <laughs> not enough time there. But um, it's going to be fun and good times. Good times to be had. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for sticking around for all you guys that are returning viewers for those of you who are new thank you so much for joining our youtube family here i really hope at the end of the day you are inspired by my content to be creative yourself and that's my whole goal is to no matter what your skill level i really just want to empower you guys to be able to just create so if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications for more content to come leave a comment down below letting me know which was your favorite item in this particular haul and if you also have disney store outlets near you that you are going to i'm just kind of i'm always curious to know what other people are finding in their stores versus what i find in my stores but anyways until next time i hope you all stay well and i will see you when i get back from my honeymoon take care bye guys